my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about followers how do you grow followers on your accounts now before we get into that I want to make sure you realize I'm not saying the more followers you have the better success you'll have I'm just saying there's different ways you can grow your followers you got to make sure that you do the right content we're going to talk about that a little bit too but we're going to get into how you grow your followers and that works on almost all the social media platforms doesn't matter which platform it is we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so that's right pretty much every social media platform has the same kind of process where you can use to grow your followers now depending on the kind of platform like for example Facebook they're not follow well there are followers on Facebook too there's um there's friends on Facebook on LinkedIn there's connections and there's also followers and on Instagram it's followers on Twitter it's followers on TikTok it's followers on you know bitcloud that I'm on now is followers so platforms use the following followers as a metric right so you got to be careful that to not just base everything on followers right followers has is just a number but you do want to grow your followers so that you can start to grow your audience so you can start to build your business and it's the same for selling courses online the more people that know about you the more chances you have of you know selling your car your courses your content and things like that so we're going to get into that and I'm going to share my screen but before we do it let's uh just remind you if you're listening to the audio of this in the podcast you should go to cis350.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I'm going to be sharing my screen as I said so let's start with showing you what kind of um what kind of uh numbers I'm talking about or what what I'm you know because I've done this I I understand how it works and by the way I don't know if you noticed but my I my allergies are really acting up my eye is really bothering me it's it's probably redder than the other eye this eye here on this side and I'm a little bit sniffly sorry about that just in case you're wondering it's just allergies all right so if I look at my Twitter you can see I have a one th 11 thousand uh, 500 followers on my uh, um, Instagram I've got 4,000 followers on my Pinterest I've got uh, 4,500 on my LinkedIn I've got 15,000 followers or connections on my TikTok I've got uh, 1986 followers and also on this new platform I've got oh I guess I should have showed the profile on this screen I forgot I've got uh, a little over 300 and some followers but this account I just created a few days ago or 324 followers right so how does that work on all the platforms it's pretty much the same process you find people that are in your niche whatever it is that you're trying to sell whatever it is you're trying to do you got to go and find those people and that's the first step is finding people that are in your niche and finding their followers so if I go for example on Twitter I can search for example for Gary Gary V right I go to his profile to Gary Wainerchuk and then I look at his followers he's got 2.2 million followers and I can click on this and I can just follow the people that are that's that's a very basic basic strategy that's not a strategy that is really uh, uh long term in terms of uh but it does let you grow your followers because it's just the nature of the platform if you follow somebody there's a chance that they'll follow you back and depending on the platform most of them is around the 20 percent to 30 percent mark of people that follow you will follow you that you follow will follow you back uh and the thing you have to remember is that all platforms has limits they have maximum limits if I go like this and I just follow all these people like this right I just follow and follow and follow and follow eventually it'll give me a message see you're able to follow you're not able you are unable to follow more people at this time 
right now because I'm going too fast or because there's a maximum number or something like that right the platforms have these kinds of limits to prevent you from using a robot or some automated software to do it for you if I go to Instagram it's basically the same thing I can go in here and I can search for Gary V whoops on Instagram I would go here whoops not to Gary V right here right the gear now of course me it's I'm looking at Gary V just as example he's into social media he's into what advertising online marketing and that's why I look him up but there's a lot of other if you're into um you know weight loss if you're into uh, other different things you would look obviously for whoever it is that you've got now you can go on LinkedIn on to, on Instagram right here and click on the followers that he's got and you can just follow them like same thing again on Instagram there's going to be a maximum let's just see how much how many I can I don't know how many I'm doing here but eventually it'll give me a message saying that I'm going too fast and one of the things is that if you do this all the time if you do this all the time it's not a good idea to go really quick like this the strategy for most platforms is you do you know 20 to 50 or something every hour every or even some for every day so you gotta just uh you can look up um you know trainings on the different specific platforms uh for obviously they um some others have created courses or or free blog posts or things like that on the different platforms like as you saw on Twitter it didn't take very long right for it to give me a message on Instagram it should be a little a bit um a bit longer before it gives me a message about that I don't know if it oh look at that see the follow button's not even working anymore if I click on it it just doesn't do anything so that's your signal to stop because if you keep clicking it it still registers that you click it so if you keep doing it you're going to get probably a black mark on your account now the one thing about Instagram that's got to be careful is that on Instagram there is a maximum of 7,500 people that you can follow once you reach 7,500 which I did in the past you you can't follow more and unless you have I don't know if you can ever get past the 7500 like for example if you've got more than um more than you know 7500 that are following you like Gary V has 8.9 million right he's following 5200 now I don't, I don't know if that's obviously uh, as an influencer I'm not sure if he's actually really doing that or if that was just because when he started or he whatever right but that's one of the things you have to remember Instagram is 7500 maximum followers Twitter there's no such limit except that on Twitter um on Twitter there's uh there's a what's it called there's a re reciprocity thing so you can follow I think I think it's every uh a thousand you can't follow more than a thousand over how many are following you so you're gonna have to um you're gonna have to <coughs> follow uh, you know 20 people at an hour or something and you do it every day over time you're gonna have people following you back so your number of followers is going to grow and then you're going to be able to unfollow some that are not following so if I look at this if I go back to my profile and I look at who I'm following right I can actually go into this list of followers and I can scroll and scroll and scroll obviously because I have like 11,000 followers right so I'm not really sure on Twitter uh, I'm trying to remember if the list starts off with the newest ones you followed or not it might but anyways if I go go down for a bit right I try to go in the middle of your list and then you just unfollow right you just unfollow some and that allows you to follow more right so if you follow if you unfollow the ones see the ones that says follows you the one that follows you you might want to, oh that's what it is it's sorting by the people that are following you so you see this person's not following me so I'm just gonna unfollow them you can kind of do that you can look at who's not following you and unfollow them and the ones that are following you you probably could keep them as a as a follow as a follower that's one of the things right on Twitter um same thing with Instagram and LinkedIn uh or not LinkedIn but I mean Instagram and TikTok for example uh let's go back okay let's go back to Instagram so we're still on Twitter here now Instagram if I look at my profile again I'll go to my profile and I go to who I'm following right I don't know if you can see does it so is yeah, that's the thing right so in Instagram you don't see whether they're following you or not if I um 
so these are people that I am following and yeah it doesn't say uh let's say I go to this one I click on it and that's the thing there's tools right so it says here yeah I can't tell whether they're following me or not I guess I'd have to go in here and go look through here or maybe that's what this is what is that no that just means I'm following them <laughs> mm no yeah so in Instagram you can't really tell at least I, I can't see off the top of my head I I've been using um I did use automation automation at some point to do some of the some of this uh this thing because one of the things is there are tools out there there's chrome plugins there's there's apps on your phone <coughs> that will allow you to automate some of this right so you can set it up so it follows 10 new accounts and it'll also give you a list of the people that are following you back and the ones that aren't right so that allows you to unfollow those that aren't following you things like that okay so on Pinterest on Pinterest it's basically the same thing I can go and search for Gary V Gary V right Gary Wiener right here and I can see his followers and over here I can just follow I'm going to follow the ones that have pictures for their profile right I can follow those that are following Gary Wainerchuk this is the same as any other any of the others I don't know how long uh, this takes it's been a while since I've actually um see more there you go it's been a while since I've actually uh done this on on Pinterest because Pinterest has a different kind of beast um I've used it uh, recently I've started well recently maybe six months ago or so I started posting videos on top of images to grow my um, number of people that are actually seeing my stuff so if I look at uh, my profile right you can see that I don't have a lot of views on the different thing three views three views one view 22 is not too bad you know 4k views here 19 16 5 5 18 and um and you can see I've got 36,000 monthly views that that means impressions of my images and my po and my videos and things like that so when you see 38 here right 14 here um 19 16 right all those added up within the month is 33,000 which isn't you know huge but it's uh, better than it used to be I, I you know six months a year ago it was like six like seriously six you know six right not 60 or 600 or 6,000 six <laughs> and 32,000 is quite a difference from six right all right so that's Pinterest on LinkedIn on LinkedIn as you see I've got 15,000 connections um and there's followers that follow your page and let me see and as you can see I got 363 336 new invitations people wanting to connect with me that's a separate I did a bunch of uh LinkedIn training as well specific to LinkedIn on how to do that how to grow by a thousand new connections a month if you're interested in finding out about that but this is basically the same thing if I look for Gary V Gary Wainerchuk right Gary Wainerchuk right here if I look at his uh, connections I don't know if you can actually can you do that on, on LinkedIn I, I'm trying to see if I go here yeah see I'm following him connect I've already sent a connection request I'm sure if I look at the connections so yeah right here it says it shows me right here the connections I've already got right that are connected with Gary Vaynerchuk if I do the second now what that does is it gives me oh I guess it won't let me second hmm. first connection these are first connections of mine so it really doesn't it's not of any use I'm already connected to these people I'm trying to see let me see can I search for hmm. that's weird I should be able to see second connections to Gary Vaynerchuk or is there something what am I doing wrong here what am I doing wrong so if I search for Gary Vaynerchuk again 
I want to do a search for Gary Vaynerchuk hmm so I'm not really sure how you uh connect but I mean if I look for say for example uh realtor real realtor right realtor and it'll give me the list of realtors I'm trying to see if there's a way how do I do that on here see people results right and the connections their second connections only because first connections are you're already connected with third connection you'll have trouble connecting to them but second connections is somebody who's connected to somebody you're connected to and then you can just click the connect button on them uh, but I'm trying to see uh, there's no way really I guess to hmm, all filters what is it add a connection so Gary oh that's why I'm not connected to Gary Vaynerchuk so I can't actually I can't yeah okay so I'd have to be connected let's say I, I let's say I'm connected to um Eric Worry so I can actually connect uh, add Eric Worry in here and these will be people that are second connections to me that are connected to Eric Worry right so there's uh there's 25 right here right these are all people that are realtors that are connected to Eric Worry and are second to him and me so right there's, and then I can just connect to these uh oh I mean this is not definitely not something you should be doing lightly there's re, there's ways to connect on LinkedIn one of the good ones to connect to are realtors because usually realtors will want to connect and they'll connect back to you uh pretty easily um and uh, and the, anyways that's one way to connect on LinkedIn okay so on a TikTok I don't know if I'll be able to do that on the computer let's see if I can log in here I'm pretty sure I have my I'm logging with Facebook I think oh I'm gonna have to put my Facebook password what's my Facebook password let's go find my Facebook password <laughs> Um, oh it's a crazy password it's a crazy password okay and then it's going to ask me to confirm it I think or no no I guess not login success so now if I go in here and I go to Gary Vaynerchuk again Gary V right and I look at his followers see you can't click on them I can't click on this followers on the computer but if I go to the app on the phone right it's the same process I can go to the app on the phone and I can search for Gary V here Gary V and I just go to the account and now on the phone let's make the just the webcam here on the phone right I'm on his account you see up top there where it says followers right six million followers I click on the followers and then it gives me the list of the followers Gary V followers so I can tap on this follow right on the follow tab and eventually I will get a message from TikTok saying I'm following too fast I can show that to you in a second it'll give me a slow down you're going too fast I don't know if I'll get it it's up oh, there you go whoops it says you are following too fast it goes and pops up so I'm just gonna stop it right there and that's the same thing on all the platforms you got this kind of limitation thing okay so now the next 
last one I want to talk to you about is the newest language so now the other thing you have to realize is that being on a social media platform having number of followers does not really do anything unless you're creating content that they're going to be interested in and they're going to stick around right so but the thing is that knowing these different little techniques these different ways on all the different platforms knowing how to do it on these different platforms right is a way to figure out is a way to um to understand that you can do that on other platforms as well right on other platforms as well you can actually do that follow people and same thing with this new platform that I just joined now I'm not I'm not promoting this right now I just want to kind of show you but this is one of the platforms that I'm excited about but it's new Langram the cool thing about the platform is you can actually put your link right here so I can have people clicking on my link to go check out my stuff and I've got 324 followers already let's reload the page see if I've got more since starting the video uh, I'm not sure but it's called BitCloud it's a blockchain based platform no 324 okay it's a blockchain based platform and it's the same thing if I go here and I search for let's say uh Russell Brunson which is probably more my more my uh target market or audience than than Gary V but it's the same thing I go here I go to his followers and in the list of followers that shows up I follow the people that I'm not already following right so I just follow the people that I'm not following and I do the same as I'm doing on other platforms and there's the thing about uh, bitcloud right now is that it's still pretty new so you'll get a higher percentage of people following you back than you do on other platforms and also there's some whoops I clicked on the link also there's some other issues with um there's issues with the the performance and things like that uh but that's just you know that's just there's nothing um uh, there's nothing wrong with that oh there you go see it says your experience heavy load so that's one of the things that bitcloud does is it gives you this warnings kind of the same as the other platforms except that because it's a brand new platform you're not going to be blackmail black marked by following too fast or things like that it just gives you a message and you just got to wait for a bit and then you try it again and it'll it'll well I guess we'll have to wait longer like and then eventually it'll work so if I go for example into my notifications right here I can also see uh, people commenting on my stuff and if I look at my profile and I look at my followers same thing I can go here to my followers and I can actually follow the people that I'm already following right that are following me and I'm probably going to get a message oh no okay I guess I'm past the the, the delay there so I can follow people that are following me and you can do that on the other platforms too you want to follow people back if they're following you right especially um within you know not too long of them following you right and um and uh yeah so that's I guess that's the thing so following growing your followers is pretty much the same this is a list of people that I'm following uh, so that's the other thing on all the platforms you might want to go and check who your influencer is following like for example on Twitter uh, if I go back to let's say Russell Brunson right if I go to Russell Brunson right here and I look at his whoever he's following 3000 he's following these accounts these are accounts that he's interested in maybe I should be following them or at least I should be you know uh interested in what he's interested in right but the thing is that I don't know if those people are going to follow me back because they're not they're they're they may be already influencers so they don't necessarily have time to go follow back people that that follow them right uh you know like these people have look at that 442,000 followers he's following 136 people chances are they're not going to follow me back right um same thing with um with Instagram right uh, go find uh Russell Brunson or whoever your uh, target audience or target market person is uh, LinkedIn Twitter TikTok and then now there's BitCloud and obviously Facebook as well which I haven't I didn't load up but maybe I can show you Facebook 
a little bit Facebook is is kind of it's kind of a different beast because Facebook has been around probably longer than most of the platforms maybe not as long I guess Twitter and Facebook are pretty much the same age potentially LinkedIn too I'm not sure but it's different right because on Facebook you post content and people don't even see your stuff unless you're um active and commenting on other people's stuff and there's this whole reciprocity thing that's true on all the platforms um but it's but on a new platform like bitcloud right it's it's a lot easier to get engagement if I go to the uh, to the actual feed on there right there's a there's a following feed right all the people that you're following whatever they're posting and there's also the same uh same idea as other platforms as what they call a global feed which is a feed that is curated I guess I, would, I don't I still don't know what the algorithm is but it's a feed that's curated based on content based on what um top influencers maybe or but it's gonna you know it's gonna change over time this is a brand new platform like a, a week old two weeks old and um and so yeah so that's kind of what um he's saying that the, this is the one of the developers here he's saying there's a display issues going on devs are investigating okay and uh yeah so this is anyway so that's how you grow your followers that's how I grew my followers here because I knew these strategies I knew about the following you know, my influencers following the followers of my influencers or the of my dream 100 if you will right do that on all the different platforms is the same thing right you're going to get uh the you're going to get that why is this so why is this so slow right you're going to get that on all these different platforms and that's kind of how you do it that's how you grow your followers and uh, go ahead and follow me on all these obviously I'll follow you back but yeah if you have any questions as always just go ahead and comment below in the video comment below the blog post or a reach out and we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time